In 2013, Georgia Transmission Corporation was faced with the challenge of building a 115 kV transmission line through a salt marsh located in coastal Georgia, south of Savannah, in Bryan and Liberty counties. The project was needed to improve reliability for the existing transmission system in Coastal Electric Cooperative's service area. The project connected two radial transmission systems, one in Bryan County and one in Liberty County, by going across four miles of salt marsh. The salt marsh is a very sensitive and protected natural resource. We had to set our poles in the marsh with minimal disruption by our crews and equipment. A low ground pressure track machine was used to get workers into the marsh. The track machine is made to avoid disrupting marshland and killing vegetation. GTC's contractor for this project was Irby Construction. They brought in a subcontractor, Ericsson, to use a Sikorsky S-64 air crane helicopter to install steel poles in the marsh. The air crane helicopter can lift a payload of 25,000 pounds. In six days, 32 steel poles were installed in the salt marsh, with each pole weighing about 7,000 to 10,000 pounds. The air crane helicopter hauled the base of each pole, called a caisson, into the marsh. Special equipment vibrated each base into the ground in minutes. After each base was set, the helicopter went back to the laydown yard to pick up the top of the pole, bring it back out to the marsh, and place it on top of the caisson. I can't say enough about Irby. They're an excellent contractor to work with. There was a lot of thought went into this process. We thought through a lot of what ifs, had all that in place, and, and thank goodness it all went well. Well, obviously you can't be anything but impressed with the way that they are uh, putting these transmission lines in, protecting the marsh, which is uh, very important to the coast of Georgia. After all the poles were erected across the salt marsh and on solid ground, the conductor wire was pulled onto the poles by a smaller helicopter. Again, this was done so that there would be minimal disruption to the marsh. The transmission line was completed in October 2013, built with very little disturbance to the marsh.